You are a bitter woman who tried to destroy a man just because he cheated. You should have resolved the matter privately if you want to be left alone. Year 2020 was for him to suffer and be ashamed publicly through his so-called wife. Year 2022 is the year for you to not know peace as he didn't. This part of the message that was sent to Monique shortly after Katleho Maboyi's victory was declared. However, T-Squad, Monique still maintains that she was abused. I am bitter because I was abused. I am bitter because I am tired of the lies. I am bitter because I want the harassment to stop. I am bitter for responding with the truth, Monique said. She also went on a rant to set the record straight. As per agreement between the parties, there has been no new acts of domestic violence since the application of the IPO. This is the correct outcome as per the court ruling. They are always trying to control the narrative, except now they forget I'm no longer gagged from speaking up. I no longer care. I would love to be left alone, but I will but I will never let those false narratives to continue. I implore journalists to get the actual judgment from court, she said. She also revealed that the attorney she once said was lying was found guilty of misconduct. I actually find it appalling that these people continue to lie on such a public platform when the official documents say something completely different. People have already put their careers on the line supporting these lies and they just keep acting unethically. No worries, I won't be making any statements. I will only be posting the facts. Monique said, claiming that the court documents say something completely different from what Katlako brought forward or what his fans are riding with. T-Squad is she being bitter or her proofs can really destroy Katlako by the alleged real truth? Do leave your comments down below. I love you.